Hi everyone, welcome back to Wesno's Tech News and Reviews. Today we'll be doing a heart rate accuracy test of the Amazfit GTR 3 Pro. And the test was actually performed while I was on the skipping rope. Well, there were actually two sessions. Because after the first session, I just couldn't believe that this watch could be that accurate. Anyways, let's get into the details. Right, so a quick introduction to the M Masfit GTR 3 Pro. This is the all new edition and actually the flagship of the M Masfit smartwatch range. This thing has a 1.45 inch AMOLED display. This is the biggest display on the smartwatch market today. And not just the biggest by size, it's also the best resolution. As we know, the market standard is 326 ppi. Well, can you imagine that the Amazfit GTR 3 Pros comes in with an ultra HD display. We're talking about 331 pixels per inch. And that is actually achieved by 480 by 480 pixels. So this is absolutely amazing. It's got the deepest blacks I've ever seen. It's got 150 sport modes on the actual watch. Everything is gold based. There are so many alerts, functions, etc. And you'll be able to follow through with all the features and functions of this watch on my full and comprehensive review of this watch. Anyways, I'll leave a link to that at the end of this particular video. Anyways, so what we did is I've actually went to the gym. I went into a studio, took out my skipping rope and started going for it. So for 30 minutes the first time around. And I'll just show you the heart rate stats that I got from the optical heart rate sensor on the back of this Amazfit GTR 3 Pro. They completely matched my Polar H10 ECG chest strap. So this was unbelievable. I just couldn't believe it, right? The graphics, the charts, they looked almost identical. Yeah, a couple of the peaks were a bit smudged on the optical heart rate sensor, but the average was spot on. The peak was spot on. I couldn't believe it. So the next day, and that was yesterday, I've actually gone to the same studio. I've gone in there and I've jumped another 32 minutes. Now, again, the results were so good that I just have to show this to you. But enough of me telling you things. Let me actually show you and evidence the results. Let's do it. So firstly, we're going to start with the benchmark results. And these were performed by the Polar H10 ECG chest strap. So it's on my chest all the time while I'm exercising and it's recording the most accurate heart rate that you can get on the market today. In fact, the Polar H10 is so accurate that it's used by professional athletes as well as scientists and medical researchers because of its high accuracy. Anyways, let's take a look at what the Polar H10 had to show for the 30 minutes while I was jumping rope. So we can see an average heart rate of 140 beats per minute, while the peak was actually registered at 164 beats per minute. Let's take a look with what the Amazfit GTR 3 Pro actually came up with. So we can see that within the 30 minutes, I've actually managed to do just over 1400 jumps on the skipping rope. And if we look particularly at the heart rate, 140 beats per minute as the average and 164 beats per minute as the max. How can this be? Because I'm not sharing any data from the Polar H10 strap. Nope. This is just the optical heart rate sensor on the back of this thing. It's that accurate. Well, as I said, I couldn't quite believe it. So the next day I went in there and I did another test for another 30 minutes. Actually turned out to be 32 minutes. Let's take a look at what the Polar H10 showed us. As we can see, over 32 minutes of recording, the average heart rate as measured by the Polar H10 strap was 143 beats per minute, while the max came in at 163 beats per minute. So there's not much change from the previous session. As we know, well, it's half an hour. The difference was basically 24 hours between the sessions. So I was in similar shape, similar form. 
but 143 and 163. Let's take a look at what the Amazfit GTR 3 Pro has shown us. Well, we can say that I did improve slightly on the form because in the 32 minutes, I've actually managed to do over 1700 jumps. So that's an improvement of about 20% and simply because, well, a bit of practice. Skipping is not that difficult. After all, I didn't expect it to be that good on me. I can actually feel my abs hurting. So I think this is a great exercise. But anyways, let's get down to the numbers. So we can see that the average heart rate was measured over the 32 minutes at 143 beats per minute, while the max came in at 167 beats per minute. So let's put the results in a head-to-head -head comparison. What can we see? On the average, 143 beats per minute for the Polar and 143 on the MS Fit. If we talk about the peak, 163 on the Polar, 167 on the MS Fit. But the average, it's spot on. This is just unbelievable. We can see completely two different sessions, two different days, 30 minutes once, 32 minutes twice. And the results are just impeccable so there we go this is the accuracy that you will be getting on your MSFIT GTR3 Pro now mind you I've actually released a short a couple of days ago in regards to the update that you do need to make on your MSFIT and it's actually the 8.18.3.1 make sure you do that update because that fixes up quite a few of the bugs that we've seen on the watch just as it was released but that is expected isn't it every time we do get a new watch well there's something either coming via an ota update or there might be just some bugs because it's brand new to the market the watch was released two weeks ago an update was given within two weeks and it fixes most of these issues so nothing to worry about anyways thank you for watching this accuracy test of the amass for gtr3 pro in the jumping rope exercise if you have enjoyed the review, please drop me a like. And if you want to see more of the same, you know what to do. Click on the red subscribe button below the video. And I'll see you in the next one.